How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video and in today's video uh, we are going to be doing the Mazda RX-7. I think this one is a, a 93 or a, 90, a 97. One of the two. Um, but the one that we're going to be replicating is a 1993 uh, RX-7 FD which is what this is. Um, it's a twin rotor which I think this one is only a single rotor. So, I don't know if we'll be able to get it exactly how I wanted it. Um, but the way it works is... No, I can maybe... I think I can fit a twin rotor in here. Maybe. But anyways, the way it works is instead of pistons, there are, like, quote, quote, rotors in here. And they spin in a circle. And they still have, like, compression and everything. And, uh, like, the power stroke, like a normal combustion engine. Um, but it's just in a different way. But yeah, this one we're doing today when we're using this one. And it's going to be, uh, when we do the uh, body and everything, it'll be a red uh, a red RX-7 with uh, a big wing, blacked out. Um, oh, hey, these are already blacked out pretty good. Um, blacked out taillights and everything. But trust me, it'll look a lot better once we get the rust fixed up, the yellow gone, and everything else. Uh, let's move this over here. So... I think we're gonna mix it up guys and first thing we're gonna do is the body and everything first um, just because I've been doing usually I do the motor first but I decided you know what I'd probably rather have the body looking nice before I do the ro or the motor um, so let's do that first let me grab all this stuff over here grab my kits let's transfer this to here let me get the s2000 out of the garage out of the dyno there we go. There we go. What I'll have to do soon here is pull in all the Fast and Furious cars just to see how they all look together. Oh, or no, actually, I can go to the uh, parking garage and get them all lined up next to each other, and that will look really good. Okay, so then we'll start with all of these parts, get the license plates, everything out of here. Looks like this one even has front fenders we can pull off. No windows. I say not much in line for body. I swear you could take this third tail light off. Maybe it maybe it just doesn't want you to. All right. Let me get the interior. Uh, interior all shiny again. Move that over. All right, perfect. We'll rip off these rims real quick. And then the rims on this, they were originally a veil side uh, set of rims. I don't know how close we'll be able to replicate these, but we'll try to get it replicated. There we go. And if you guys did not know, this uh, this car in Fast and Furious is actually drove by Dom, um, Dominic Tretto, like the one of the, basically the main character. And then there was also another RX-7 in Tokyo Drift, drove by Han. Um, and that was like a really weird kit. Um, I don't think we have it in here because this is a. Let me see. Let me see. We'll see what we have. Maybe Mazda. Dang it, nothing in here for visual performance. Maybe in here. Oh, let me just do RX-7 then. Okay, yeah, there's no... Dang it, there's no, like, really good pieces in here for the RX-7. I could probably go get a modded RX-7, but I'm using the in-game one. Um, and it should fit pretty well with Dominic's. But uh, Hans was, like... An all orange one with a full body kit and literally everywhere. Super good looking. Um, but yeah, so we're, we'll probably do that one later, but not right now. Because I'll probably want to get a mod for that one. Um, just because, yeah. <laughs> just because, yeah. All right, so next thing is going to be, we'll get the body panels. We'll do all the body panels first. Okay. What parts did we save is the question. Well, here, we'll sell all the bad ones. Looks like we saved a hood and both the bumpers. That's pretty good. 
a pretty good save, if you ask me. Alright, we'll start with the rear, then. Um, let's get every piece that we don't have. Oh, yeah, and these uh, headlights are also a flip-up headlight. Okay. Okay. Windows, door window. Are these parked? Okay, yeah, they're they're closed. I was gonna say I don't know if these were. I don't know if these would open up if I took it on the track. Maybe they'll open up. That'd be really cool. Okay, there we go. And then for license plates, um, we're gonna do this. I know the exact license plate we need, guys. Uh, we'll do a Cali, and then we need, we'll try two, just because I know they want to on this car, but the, it is 4CBO626. That was the exact license plate from Fast and the Furious that he had. Maybe not the California one, but it was, that was the, uh. That was the number that he had on there. All right, there we go. You know, it doesn't look too bad with all this uh, darker on there, but we're going to be doing a dark red um, when we get to this. Okay, so for the wheels, the spokes are... They have a lot of spokes on them. Let me just say that. And they are definitely chrome. Hmm... None of the DLC rims have what I'm looking for. Although this one right here is almost perfect. Let's see. Check this out. And then this is a 235, 45, 17. 235, 45, 17. So we're gonna do an 18. 235, oh, no, 235, 45, which means um, do a 30, 235. Maybe a 25. Let's see what we can do with those. That'll shrink it down a lot. So it should match pretty close. Let's remove all these Honda parts that we don't need because I know those are just going to get in the way when we go to uh, try and sell some stuff. Oh, hey, barn location. Yes. I did not know when we got that. All right, time to get these bad boys chromed out. You guys know the drill. I just go in, do that. That's really all it takes. Two more. And there we go. So this car does have a body kit on it. Um, just a little bit. It's just like a different bumper and stuff like that. But we don't have a different bumper. And we also don't have a spoiler to put on either, which really sucks. Um, so we might swap the engine into a new body later on when we get... Um, a mod installed. Oh, yeah, this is going to fit perfect. Yeah, because these have, like, no-show tires. That's awesome. All right. Yes, and then when we get the tires on, we can wheel it over into the shop. We can get it uh, ready to go. I'll probably do the suspension also. Just because I know that this one can get up there in price. I think it can get past 100 grand. Oh, yeah, it definitely can get past 100 grand. Okay. All right, let's get this thing up in the air. I want to see what it has for shocks. 
Am I gonna need a double wishbone shock absorber? So front shock A, and then rear shock A, okay. All right, so let's go to main shop. Let's get these shocks. Um, shock. So front shock absorber A, two of those, two of those, two of those. And then we're going to want uh, think, think, think. Oh, springs, duh. I was like, oh, what is it? Okay. Tires are good to go. Get all those pushed back in. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. This suspension, honestly, is not that rough a shape. This rear diff looks pretty good. And by pretty good, I mean it's not completely rusted out with holes in it. How is the Super doing? What was the Super's price? 89000 Really? Granted, it does only have an i4 turbocharger in there, so could definitely be worth a lot more. I could do like a V12 uh, twin turbo, but let's keep it. Let's keep it somewhat realistic. All right, so let's get this rear suspension done real quick. See, these rear suspensions, I used to hate them, but I understand how to take them apart really, really easily now. So it's not nearly as bad. There's certain there's certain steps and uh, ways you should go about taking this apart. Let me get these bushings out of here. One, two, three. All right, there's that knuckle housing. So the plan is, guys, next episode, uh, we'll be doing the rotary motor. And I think I've only done one RX-7 on my channel so far um, since the Mazda DLC even came out. So it's definitely going to be a new one for me and probably a new one for you guys. Um, it's a really, really strange and interesting build. Um, at least the rotary motor itself is. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I think, I mean, I'll, I'll really enjoy it too because it's really fun. Doing the uh, boxer motor the other day was a really neat too. There we go. Sway bar, knuckle housing. Get these drive axle done. And done, look at that. I can even drop the fuel tank to give us a little extra room. All right, so then I think I'll rebuild this really quick. I just gotta build through all these. See, everything was at like 30%, so that's pretty decent if you ask me. So we need knuckle housings. We'll grab these, knuckle, housing A, and then let's see. Let's grab our brakes. Two discs, four pads, because we're going to need some for the front. Let's see, sway bar B. Wow, looks like we were able to save quite a bit, actually. Although these, whoa, these rear suspensions really, really do a deal on the amount of rubber bushings I'm able to maintain in stock. I think one rear section uses up 12. Or close to 12, I know that. So the rear sway bar B is what we need. So let's do that. Sway. 
one of them. Oh, we needed to grab those end links. Hold on. There we go. Oh, looks like that might have been our last rubber bushing too. Spring caps. Do I have the springs? No. Okay. Let's go grab our springs. I think I have the top to this too. I don't, never mind. All right, there's that. Dang, we broke both of our rear drive axles. We didn't break them. They're just not good to go. Uh, so we'll just do axle. We should be able to find these. So rear drive axle. Rear drive axle. And then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, break. We broke... Uh... I only bought one. Dang it. We, we only had uh, one cylinder left. All right, let's take a good look at how this one looks. Uh, we could have probably gone like 19s, actually. Jeez. Granted, if this thing was lower and had a kit, body kit on it, obviously, it'd be a different story here, but, you know, that's all right. Okay, let's go grab our rear drive axle again because I bought the wrong one. And then we will get the... Uh, We'll get the front tires put on. I'm probably not going to do the front suspension quite yet. I will do it, though. Um, but I'll probably do it in the next video. Uh, but we'll get the front tires on just so we can wheel it in. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, it's a small rubber bushing that goes in there. I did not know that. Uh, but yeah, we'll get the front tires on just so we can wheel it in. Get this, Get this bad boy painted here. I hope I didn't put any incorrect pieces over there for... Hmm. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Suspension arm A is what we need. Arm A. Oh, wow. That was a mistake. All right. There we go. Wow, I am forgetting every part now. There we are. And that should be smooth sailing from this point. Disc, pads caliper you can slap these bad boys on there there we go and then I'll put these front tires on just for now um, just so we can actually get this thing moved sweet Wonder what that did to the value of this thing. Well, wow, look at that. Doing the rear and the tires, the rear suspension and the tires, increased our value by $11,000. Make sure we didn't mess up any bushings. Did you look at that. That rotor housing, housing has a plus two on it. That oil pan has a plus one. Really? That is cool. I didn't know that you could pick up parts from cars that had quality improvement. I had no idea, honestly. Okay. Anyways. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot this one also has a turbo on it. But the turbo is gone because the thing is trashed. All right. Give me just a second. We're going to transfer this thing over to the paint shop. 
Alrighty, so we're gonna be painting this a nice cherry red. Um, basically, so we can drop this, drop the color. Um, brightness a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. That is a super, super nice cherry red. At least on my screen it is. And we're going to do a metallic. Um, the only thing that would make this come together better would be liveries. Oh. Those are not what we are looking for, though. No, these are not the liveries we're looking for. Maybe I can find a livery and uh, download it and use it for this build. But there we go. There we go. We now have a good solid body. We just need to do the front suspension, but we have a body of an RX-7 that should work. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the back hatch. But it should work very, very well for doing this motor right here. So this is going to be a, I think it's a two rotor. I think it's a twin rotor. It might be a single rotor, but I think it's a twin rotor um, turbo RX-7 uh, rotary engine. So yeah, it's a rotary engine. It's a rotor, not not a regular engine but anyways guys there we go let me shift this thing back over to our stall yeah it looks pretty good all right but there we go guys i hope you enjoyed the video so far um i might try and find a different body style for this um but i'm not sure yet i'm just not not quite sure um but i hope you guys all enjoyed this video so far if you're excited for the rotary engine like i'm excited for it um, leave a comment down below or, you know, just hit a like on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Keep up to date with more car mechanic stuff because we are doing cars daily. Um, getting a car done every other day, pretty much. It's popping through a lot of cars here. And we are going to be trying to find more trucks coming up here soon. Uh, don't you worry. Um, but, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I should see you all in the next car mechanic simulator video.